Luke 18, 16 in the King James Version says, But Jesus called them unto him and said, Suffer little children to come unto me, and forbid them not, for of such is the kingdom of God. Acts 2, 17 in the King James Version says, And it shall come to pass in the last day, saith God, I will pour out of my spirit upon all flesh, and your sons and your daughters shall prophesy, and your young men shall see visions, and your old men shall dream dreams. This is a wonderful example that Acts 2.17 not only applies for adults, but for children as well. And it is so powerful right now in these end times, because more and more children are having visions and dreams of heaven and things to come. The first two experiences that I will be sharing with you today were emailed in by our dear sister in Christ, Yami, where she shares with us two heavenly experiences from her daughter, one experience at the age of three and the other at the age of eight. Watch to the very end of both of her experiences to see something very special that she wants to share with you. And in her email, it says, Hello, Sister in Christ. My name is Yami, and I want to share with you two unique experiences that my daughter had. My daughter had her first experience at the age of three. She had told it to me back then. Of course, now she is eight years old. And in her dream, she was sleeping when all of a sudden, Jesus had came to her bed and said, Come. She then said that she had saw a beautiful pink butterfly and started to follow it. After that, she was with Jesus and they were walking a dog. It was a dog that we had had for almost 13 years, a chihuahua named Casper. After that, she then told me that Jesus said to her, Look at your grandma. And she said that she had seen her grandmother, my mother, in the hospital. And that is when she had woken up from her experience. I want to mention to you that when she had had this dream, I was crying a lot as my dog had just died two weeks before this dream. After she had told me this dream, I stopped crying as I knew that he was safe. My daughter also pointed out that Jesus looked just like that famous painting that was made called Prince of Peace. On March 14th of 2023, my daughter had her second dream. And in her dream, she said that she had been lost in her school. She said that I was trying to find her, but that I couldn't. She said she then found herself being locked outside of the school, and she felt so lost at the same time when I was looking for her. She said then Jesus had came, and she had heard a horn that was blown, and she went right up. She said, that there were angels that were with him and that they were very shiny. She said that she was then shown a Bible that was in the shape of a heart. The color of the Bible was both purple and pink. She then said she saw a table and on the table were three pencils. Then she said that Jesus told her to pick up the three pencils And so she picked them up. Then Jesus said to her, close your eyes. Then Jesus said, open your eyes. And when she woke up to open her eyes, there were five pencils in her hand as she had woken up. She then told me that after she had this experience, she felt so happy and thought that the dream felt so real. She even said to the point that she wished she could go right back into that dream. 
I am so happy that my daughter was able to have both of these dreams. I have had also dreams myself, but lately I have been very distracted. Thank you so much, Amber, for all that you do. God bless you always. My daughter also wants to thank you as well. Jesus is so amazing. And thank you for the amazing work that you do for our Lord. God bless you and our brothers and sisters in Christ from your sister, Yami. Thank you so much, Sister Yami, for sharing both of your daughter's very beautiful and encouraging dreams with the Channel family. I absolutely loved bringing them to life and was so happy to be able to share them here on the channel. I now want to share with you some drawings that our Sister Yami shares that her daughter drew after her recent experience of what she had seen in her dream. Enjoy these very encouraging drawings. The next two experiences that I am going to be sharing with you today were emailed in by our brother in Christ, where he shares his experience along with an audio of his son's vision. He saw into the end times as well as what Jesus looked like. You're going to want to see this video all the way to the end. And in his email, it says, Dear Blessed Amber, first and foremost, thank you for doing God's work. You are truly an angel. I am sending you a vision my son had at school on September 15th of 2022. He was six years old when he had this encounter with our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. I want to make it clear to the audience that what they are about to hear I had never spoke to him about. I have even had dreams and visions myself that I have posted. God has blessed me with so many visions and now my son is experiencing them. Before the video begins, I want to share my last vision that was given to me by Jesus. He showed me a white church sign, the one you normally would see on front lawns with big black letters. As he spoke these words, they appeared on the board. Jesus told me, please bear witness to Paul's message to the church. I hope your audience takes to heart the message Jesus told him, and they are prepared for what is about to come. In Jesus' name, Amen. Are we angels that we come down or are we here? Um, he didn't ask that question to me. I'll tell you. 
And where did you hear this story before that? Did anybody ever tell you that story? No. No? And what did, so what did he look like? What, what did God look like? He had brown blonde hair, he had a brown beard, and he had a white robe. And you see, what color were his eyes? You told me the color of his eyes. Blue. Blue. And how, how old did he look to you? Fifty. Fifty. All right. And then what happened after he told you, told you, he said, the trumpet will blow? He said, bye-bye, Jason, and he just flew back in heaven. Really? Wow. Were you afraid of him? No. No? I felt like I was, I, I felt so good when I saw him. All right. Well, the story of Jason, six years old, can't make this up. God bless it. Thank you so much, brother, for sharing your experience along with your son's incredible experience. I am so happy that I was able to bring it to life and share it here on the channel. May God bless you and your son as well.